sitting cross-legged with guitars makes me sometimes want to do this. Let me introduce you to my guitar. Would you like to meet her? Her name is Kelly. She's an Irish girl. This green, the Viridian green, and this Rowanberry red, and this blue lapis worn out now in the back here, these are the vibrant colours still in a manuscript in Trinity College Dublin called the Book of Kells. So I wanted to celebrate my bardic Irish Scottish background and I had Danny Farrington, the wonderful luthier and guitar maker. He made Kelly. And when Kelly arrived, I held her to my, my heart and then I wondered once again why do guitars have ladies' names? I'll call you Kelly, because you're Irish, but why does a guitar have a lady's name? And often I wondered, is it because of the pear shape? Also, you can hold the guitar quite close. You can also take the guitar to bed. You can't do that with a piano. And I remember one night, the cottage in the woods back in England long ago. Linda was asleep in the big brass bed and I was on the carpet writing a song. I was getting sleepy. I thought I'll creep into bed, maybe I'll finish it there. And I slipped into bed with my guitar of the day and Linda woke up and said, get her out of this bed. <laughs> finish the song on the carpet. But why do guitars have ladies' names? And then it became clear. It was a party in the east of Ireland on the coast there. The actor, Woody Harrison, was there. And I was driving him. I forgot why. Then I remembered. He was over to do a celebrity soccer match in England. But then at the party, we were talking about why do guitars have ladies' names? And then Fran, a very funny English lady living in Ireland. She stood up and said, I know why guitars have ladies' names. So we all turned to Fran. Okay, Fran, tell us. She said, guitars have ladies' names because there's always strings attached. <laughs> so it's solved. <laughs> but then when Kelly arrived, I have to say, she would only play Irish and Scottish tunes. So I said, Kelly, this will never do. Let's write our first song today to young Kelly in 1996. I said, we'll make this song half Irish, half English, half Scottish and half Donovan. Well, she couldn't count. But what the song came out, to say to me, touched me so much. It sounded so much like my early songs and made my heart flutter a little of how this works of songwriting. From my ancient past in Ireland came a song from Kelly and I that I'll never record. And it's called The Promise. Dreaming of you and 
Coming to me like you said 